Hey gang, it's Rob. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the objectives that are on the Security Plus exam. If you've never listened in on the podcast, I'm Rob from itmasterkey.com, where we help our students just like you in their certification journey. So let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into the objectives that are on the Security Plus exam. So this exam covers six domains, and we're going to go over the objectives that are covered in those six domains. So the first domain is threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. The first objective is given a scenario, analyze indicators of compromise, and determine the types of malware. The second objective is compare and contrast contrast type of attacks. The third objective is explain threat, actor types, and attributes. The next objective is explain penetration testing concepts. The next objective is explain vulnerability scanning concepts. The next objective is explain the impact associated with types of vulnerabilities. And that is the last objective in the first domain. The second domain is technologies and tools. The first objective is install and configure network components, both hardware and software based to support organizational security. The next objective is given a scenario, use appropriate software tools to assess the security posture of an organization. The next objective, given a scenario, troubleshoot common security issues. Next up, given a scenario, analyze and interpret output from various security technologies. Next up, given a scenario, deploy mobile devices securely. Next up, given a scenario, implement secure protocols. That is the last objective in the second domain. The third domain is architecture and design. The first objective being explain use cases and purpose for frameworks, best practices, and secure configuration guides. Next is give a scenario or given a scenario, implement secure network architecture concepts. Next up, given a scenario, implement secure system design. The next objective, explain the importance of secure staging deployment concepts. Next objective, explain the security implications of embedded systems. Next, summarize secure application development and deployment concepts. Next up, summarize cloud and virtualization concepts. Next, explain how resiliency and automation strategies reduce risk. And the last objective in the third domain is explain the importance of physical security controls. The fourth domain is identify access management. Excuse me. The fourth domain is identity and access management. First objective, compare and contrast 
identity and access management concepts. Next objective, given a scenario, install and configure identity and access services. Next up, given a scenario, implement identity and access management controls. Next up, given a scenario, differentiate common account management practices. That is the last objective in the fourth domain. The fifth domain is risk management. The first objective is explain the importance of policies, plans, and procedures related to organizational security. The next objective is summarize business impact analysis concepts. The next objective is explain risk management processes and concepts. The next objective is given a scenario, follow incident response procedures. Next up, summarize basic concepts of forensics. <clears throat> next objective, explain disaster recovery and continuity of operation concepts. Next up, compare and contrast various types of controls. And the last objective in the fifth domain is given a scenario, carry out data security and privacy practices. The last domain for Security Plus is cryptography and PKI. The first objective is compare and contrast basic concepts of cryptography. The next objective is explain cryptography algorithms and their basic characteristics. The next objective is given a scenario, install and configure wireless security settings. The last objective is given a scenario, implement public key infrastructure. All right, gang, so that was the Security Plus objectives that will be covered on the exam. If it seems like a lot, it is. Good news is you can go over to itmagickey.com and we go over each objective in an in-depth course with interactive lectures, practical exercises, and practice exams, and it's helping students as we speak pass the exam. So, if this podcast has helped you, would appreciate it if you share it with two of your buddies. Make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert every time um, we upload a video. Follow us on Twitter at MasterITTX. Follow us on Instagram at I.T underscore master. Other than that, good luck on your exam, and I will see you in class. Thank you.